hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to prepare nigerian made obono soup you see in this video our first recipe here is pomo which is known as cow skin followed by our titus fish you can use any fish of your choice depending on what you want then the next thing here we are going to be using our grinded obono maggi our garlic and rodo then the next thing we are going to be using is um stockfish we are going to be using stockfish these are the ingredients that we are going to be using for our today video so we'll be using salt and red oil so the first thing first is to heat water and pour it on your stockfish so that it will be soft for using so once you heat your water, make sure you pour it on your stockfish. Then you add salt a little. You're adding salt so that it can taste better because normally stockfish is tasteless. So after that, you set that aside. Then you use your spoon to turn it and make sure it's soaked very well. Next thing to do is to put your pot on fire. Then you add some water in it then you add your fish to boil we're going to be adding both the fish and the pomo so that we'll boil it for like five to ten minutes depending on what you're using either gas or an electric stove so after that you add your pinch of salt to taste then I'm going to be using one cube of mangi I'll add my cube of monkey to make sure that it tastes delicious. Once that is done, cover it for some minutes for like 5 to 10 minutes so that it can boil very well. So after that, you open it and check. You check and taste it to ensure that the taste is okay. Then we are going to start our soup. I'm going to be adding my red oil first. After adding my red oil, I'll add my grinded pepper and garlic. I love to use garlic because it has different advantages in the body. Then followed by my stockfish. Then my maggi to taste. I'm adding my second maggi this time around to ensure that it tastes perfectly. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to add a pinch of salt pinch of salt to ensure it tastes better then once that is done you cover it for some minutes to allow it to boil and after that open it again and check to ensure that it is well boiled so adding your grinded obono make sure you add cold water you're adding cold water to make to ensure that the soup doesn't have lumps because normally if you put obono without adding cold water it's going to have it's going to have lumps so you add cold water before adding your obono okay, to ensure that it fits perfectly then cover it for some minutes to cook this is my final result and i'll be serving mine with fufu hope you like my video please drop in the comment section how you cook your obono at home please subscribe and share my video